Hey everyone, I'm Luke Zuniga, aka the guy behind the camera on my obviously critically acclaimed YouTube series, Drumline of Living. Now, odds are, if you've gone up in the ranks of rudimental percussion, you know what this thing is. But in case you haven't, there are two ways to name it an anuplet or a nine lit. Now, a nine lit can be written across one beat, two beats, or four beats, but not three beats. Across one beat, you just have to feel putting nine notes into a quarter note space, assuming that you're in 4-4. Four, four. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter in any time signature. Across two beats, though, you take a quarter triplet route, and then you pretty much tripletize the quarter triplet subdivisions, like this. Now, across four beats, it's a little tricky, I'm not sure if I can do it yet, but you take a three against four polyrhythm and you tripletize that. That goes something like More often than not, you'll see the nanuplet or the ninelet written across two beats. And the reason why you use a quarter triplet subdivision underneath is because three times three equals nine. And you're essentially just tripletizing each of those quarter triplet subdivisions. And you can't really do this with any other tuplets. The reason why this works is because nine isn't a prime number, unlike seven or five. 11. And there you have it. Um, I probably won't be doing many more uh, tutorial videos anytime soon, but I really want to do something on metric modulation because I think I can go really deep on that. And it's a valuable tool to know when you're composing or, you know, just reading sheet music and understanding how one tempo jumps to the next. Thank you.